Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ark, where today we are going to be building my egg farms. So, I will get straight to the point. All the creatures I needed for my egg farms, I went, got, bred them up. As you guys saw at the end of last episode, we got the Pegos and the Dodos. And we already had the Utahs done, so all I had to go do is get me some Capros, Argentavises, and Therizinos. Now... While I was also breeding these guys, I also finished breeding up my Fasilosuchuses so I could get me a personal one here. And here he is. He is still healing up here. He popped out not too long ago, so once he's fully healed here, I will uh, hopefully try and have enough to craft up a good saddle for him. Actually, no. I'm going to actually hold off on crafting a saddle for him until I can craft me some skill... Uh, was it? Some crafting skill potions. So, anyways... We're going to basically hop right into the building now of the of the farms. I do have a pretty good idea of what I want for the farms. Now they're going to be over here on this side. Um, I'm going to move a little. Where? Little foot? Where's my? Oh, there it is. I was like wondering where the entire uh, house was that was on your back. There it is. Also, another thing I like about Littlefoot, uh, the more you walk with him, the faster he'll go. Or the Dimas. So, um... I think I'm gonna try and save the Utai pen for back here. I'm gonna start with a Dodo pen somewhere around in here. We're gonna do a Dodo Pego pen, and we're gonna split it up. So we're gonna do like a 6 by 3 Okay, so we got everything crafting, or we got our wood railings crafting. Those are just for our uh, lower section here. Um, how do I want to do my roof? That's a good question. Hold up. I need one more of these, and then. Let's go with eight of these. I got an idea for the roof. Um, now we're going to just start with a bit of a rough structure here. Uh, I'm not going to go with anything too fancy. Especially when... You know what I forgot to do? I should probably go get the dodos and the pegos breeding up here. So that way... Uh, you know, I don't need my... Those on my hotbar right now. All I need to worry about is food because I can jump in the water if I need water. I am going to go start breeding up my pegos and my dodos. And uh, what we're going to be doing here for the farms is six of each creature. So one male and five female. I figured that was a pretty balanced amount for uh, getting the amount of eggs I need. So we're going to just toss these guys out and get them going. Alrighty, Pegos and Totos are breeding. Now we can go finish, uh, or we can go and start uh, building their little uh, pen here. Now I believe I wanted to build it somewhere about right in here. So let's start with this, uh, that's the wrong one. Start with this wall, we're going to hit E and just flip it. Now we'll go around with these, like so. Boom, now this one. Okay, we're going to skip it. I need two more. Okay, there we go. That's a bit of a rough shape, but I think that's what I want. And then we go... Nine, we will do what door? Do I want this door? Yeah, I think I want that door. Okay, and now, the reason why we got the quarter ceilings is for this. Now, to do the roof, this is going to get a little tricky because we're going to do ramps on these sides. Come on. Here, we'll do it this way. Because I know it'll snap. Okay, then I can pick you up. Boom. And do the same on this side. Boom. And then... 
Boom. There we go. It's like a pretty nice chicken coop so far. We're going to do two. That was the wrong ones. Do. Oh, I clicked it one too many times. Do one there. One there. Now, the way this works is if that does not work the way I wanted it to. Okay. Huh. I got an idea still. This might work. This might work. Okay, I think I found a bit of a workaround here, and there's no thatch uh, ramps, or is there? Is If there's a thatch ramp, we might swap to those thatch. No, thatch stairs, though. That's interesting. Okay, let's just do this this way. Boom, flip it, and then this one. Boom. Okay. Now, I think for a dodo in Pego Coop, this looks pretty good. Looks like it'll work. You may notice I put, like, a line of railings on top, pointing up. I did try and also uh, snap, you know ramps to those you can't you just can't uh it will let me snap them any other direction but that so yeah um i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop four wooden pillars on each corner and what we'll do here is a little bit of a you no know, tlc in here we'll also put another pillar on the end of there um, it's just kind of decorating the inside right now. So let's search up pillar. Um, ch -ch -ch. Let's go get some stone. Maybe some stone pillars would make it look a little better. Add a bit of a variation into the, the design. Where's my stone? I don't have any stone in there. Do I not have any stone? I had no stone, so I had to run and go get me my own. But let's go throw some pillars on this uh, coop. Okay, let's go. Okay, there we go. Um, I got an idea. I hit E instead of actually putting those on my hotbar, didn't I? I was trying to figure out what button it was. What we're going to do here... Let's put one on... Hotbar them. We're going to put one on each corner. Like so. Then... I'm not going to worry about putting them there on the corners like I thought. But what we're going to do is go around and outline it. With a bunch of stone pillars now. Okay. So then... Wabam... Oh, wrong way. Wabam. There we go. Now that looks a little better with the pillars all around it. Looks a little bit more sturdy of a structure, you know? Um... I think... I'm probably just get a lamp. Or a... Oil lamp to place down in here. Just so it has a light. And then we're gonna call it good for this one. Now this is gonna be for the Pegos and the Dodos. I don't know what I'm going to put here in the middle. I guess nothing. I could probably try and make it a triple. Um, Is there any creatures I could squeeze in? No. Maybe I could... No, 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 no. Let's not worry about that. Okay, so I just got all my creatures going now, so that way I can get my eggs as fast as possible. We're just going to focus up on building the farms, and then I'll worry about getting the creatures into them later. Okay, so we got a pretty decent start here on the Capro pen, if I recall. That's what this was supposed to be. Yeah, this is the Capro. Then I'm going to do the Argentavis, and then the Therizino, and then the Utai. Okay, so this is going to be the Capro. Okay, so this here is the Capro pen done to the way I want it. I think I like it. Especially with uh, how the railings go. It's not my best work for a pen, but it will work for what I need. Which is just simple pen for 
to throw the cappers in, you know, to keep them. Well, technically, I could just throw them out in the wild, but next to an Ovis. But I feel like I need to build pens for some reason. I was about to say I could have to build them to keep them safe, but that ain't true. Now, for the Argentavises, I just copied over the Capro pen, just on the other, the, the other side. Now, I think here for the Therizinos, I think I know exactly what kind of pen I'm going to build. And it's one I commonly do, so we're just going to hop right to it. Alrighty, so this is the little farm here I got for the Therizinos, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to copy almost exactly the exact same farm over here for the Utahs. So we are almost done building the egg farms. I guess the only really fancy ones that I have that are new designs is this one, and I'm not that happy with it, honestly. I feel like I could have done better if I give it more thought, but... This was the shape I was thinking of. I'm glad I did it, though, because it does look good. I'm just debating on whether or not I should redo it, you know? Okay, so we got the U-Ties built again. It's ex almost exactly the same as this, except I guess I raised it by half a pillar. So that way the U-Ties can fit. So let's run over here and let's actually go check on the creatures and see how many eggs we got. Okay, we got a quite a bit of eggs. Not gonna lie. Uh, t -t -t -t. we actually have a lot. All right, let's uh, let's just slowly pop these out and see what we get. So, out of this first batch of dodos, we got four of them. I had to kill a couple of them. We got four of them here that are gonna be usable. We got one male and three female. So I need three more female dodos. Okay, so we got the same thing here with the Pegos. We got one male, three females. One of the females came out here with a little bit of a mutation. So, need three more Pegos. Three more female Pegos. Unfortunately, here with the Capros, we only got one male and two female. So, I need four more female Capros. Hopefully, I'll get another batch of eggs here soon. Okay, so here in the Argentavises, we're actually done. So, what I can do here is pop... The two Argentavises I actually have out into cryopods and throw them back in the cryo fridge. I almost said throw them away. Throw them back in the cryo fridge. Uh, we need to boom, pop them, and we are done with breeding Argentavises. Now we just actually have to wait for these guys to grow up. Okay, my Therizinos came out with one male that got a nice mutation, so he has a pink back, so he sticks out. And then I got three females, so I need three more female uh, Therizinos. Onto the Utahs. Okay, so with the Utahs, I got everything except one female. So I need one... Wait, hold up. Did I miscount? Yeah, no, I didn't. I need one more female Utah, and then we're good. Alrighty, so I got all of my dinos now. I just got my last creature, which was a Pego. These guys decided to give me the hardest time in giving the creature or the gender I needed. Now, technically, I could have just taken all the ones that I needed over to the gender swapper over here. I got the, one of these crafted up here. It made getting the, like, was it the genetic library done extremely easily last time around. And luckily, somebody finally made a mod that added it in, which that was part of the S plus mod. Now, this is just quite literally known as the mutator. And it has all the original options plus a couple new ones. Alrighty, so I'm going to work on transferring over all my guys here. So, we're pretty much done putting guys to the farm. I'm pretty sure the last things I need are some lights and maybe a feeding trough. I'll try and get me a tech one. I'll probably just rearrange one of the ones I already have around. Just so that way I can get it all to fit. Let's throw you. Come on. Boom, in there. Now... Uh, this is going to probably be it for this episode, so if you guys have found yourself at any point enjoying it, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, essentially that's it. Anyways, this has been Gunshamore. Peace out.